because this cop's sending it. Yeah. I think you might have helicopters coming in hot. Something's going down. Oh. Whole situation going on right here. Something happened inside this Andy Donuts. Is what it looks like the situation. Okay, sorry. Dally right here, jeez. Just forgotten about. Oh. Wow. Oh, oh. Okay, that was a little weird. It kind of seemed like it was moved to get behind me. We're about to find out if that's the case. We make a right right here. Are we getting tail? Yeah, we are. We are getting tail. How we doing folks? Welcome back to the channel. We are out here in the trenches today. We're on Figueroa in 111th place. I have not covered this part of South LA in any of my videos ever. All fresh grounds today, places we haven't seen before. I kid you not, the second I got here, turned a corner and parked, a pursuit flew right past me. I can't, I can't even make this up. Uh, we're gonna try and actually catch up to it right now, so I'm trying to speed this up. Uh, but yeah, if we're, we're gonna be in for a uh, Quite adventure today, I'd say. Let's lock it in, stay tuned to see what uh, Southern LA has to offer us. Here we go. See, look, there's one of the cops right there. They're looking for this guy. Okay, yeah, <laughs> right when I got here, it was crazy, dude. So I was parking, this car comes blasting past me. Oh, my sermon's not on. It's another cop right there. Yeah, they're swarming this area right now. The car comes flying past me, dude, going so fast. And he almost hits me, he almost hits me as I'm parking. And he, he hits the corner and he goes straight. And then as he's going straight, excuse me, all right, uh, two cop cars come flying in behind them and they go the wrong way. All right, so before we get too active today, I wanna to say the Ultimate giveaway has ended. I have received word that around April 24th is when we're gonna hear the winner. I've already submitted all the data, everyone who made a purchase, all your boosts, everything has been accounted for. Uh, around the 24th is when the drawing is supposed to happen. So just uh, just FYI for anyone who was entered and is waiting, I know everyone's waiting. <laughs> everyone's waiting, everyone's asking me about it too. So uh, I understand it's uh, hard to be patient right now, but info is coming soon. The winner will be announced very soon. Anyways, we're out here. Uh, this is actually, this is all new areas I'm gonna be exploring today. So I'm excited just to get out and ride. Uh, if you guys are, let me know by hitting that like button and watching this video all the way to the end, I can already tell it's gonna be a doozy. I kind of have a general idea of where I'm going while I'm out here. So if we go straight this way, we kind of run smack dab into Watts. This is also the direction the uh, pursuit was going. I was actually intending on going the other way behind us, but we're gonna see if we can see what's going on. First thing we're gonna check out is this graffiti wall. We're just gonna go against traffic. Look at this. Sick. That's super sick. If there's an area where you don't want to play around with cars, uh, it's over here. <laughs> These cars, you will get run over, hit, and just left. Left sitting right in the middle of the street. So. Here we are, look, there goes the bird. So I did see the vehicle i'm not going to say you know what the vehicle was but if we run into the incident then you guys will end up seeing couldn't resist that uh embankment right there we're very close to lax i don't know if that jet is in frame you see a jet right there uh lax is not far away from where we're starting today bird is way over there i'm assuming the guy is just absolutely dipped he probably just started flooring it and kept going I'm, kidding, I'm not kidding you. He went straight. Both the cops were maybe 10, 15 seconds behind. That was just enough time for him to go over the uh, that bridge that we passed at the very beginning. And the cops didn't see that. They went the other way. I was still in the car. I couldn't even react. I was just like, what the hell just happened? You know, it's not uncommon to see people driving like absolute psychopaths, but I was not expecting a police pursuit to say the least. Um, we got a few alleys out here. We are going to be playing these by ear. We're going to be checking a few of them out. And we're also going to be leaving a few of them behind. Can't resist a good alley like that, though. All right, we're over here on Main. Like I said, we're already going pretty off the course of what I had planned, but, you know, this is all 
new areas. And we got one of these right here. You know, you know. If there's ever a place to try and not stop anywhere, uh, these neighborhoods I'm getting into today are definitely some of them. Uh, we're gonna be trying to keep it moving as much as possible. And I mean that in every sense of the word. <laughs> it's not gonna stop for just about anything. Uh, unless it is the cops. We don't wanna end up in a chase like that guy was. <laughs> yeah. All right, San Pedro Street, that runs straight down this way. And you end up going straight through downtown LA if you just follow this street northbound. Southbound, it goes to the city of San Pedro. Check out what's going on here. Lots of schools in this area is what I'm noticing. I see a lot of kids getting out of school right now. So uh, that's uh, usually kind of a dead zone for us. That just means you gotta be careful. Dude, the main thing I'm looking out for here is traffic. Like I always say in these videos, the main thing you have to look out for is traffic and stray dogs. That is pretty much, I would say, 95% of the danger that I encounter when I'm making some of my videos. The other 5%, well, you know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, damn, look at that. Prime example. Oh, yeah, he's so ready to hop the fence. Or she, that's a, that's a girl. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna check my phone and see if they caught that pursuit. Kind of. No, hey, I don't. We're not gonna have any shortage of that today. Everybody's got a dog out here. That's the main line of defense in these neighborhoods. Helicopter overhead, I think they were unsuccessful in finding the guy they were chasing. Because clearly they would have had a, uh, you know, they would have been doing circles if they had any type of info on him. But let's take a look. Traffic collision, that's super far. I don't see anything on here. Robbery reported? No, that's really far away too. I don't know. I guess we'll just play things by ear. If we see something crazy, then uh, we'll check it out. Oh, now we're just gonna be enjoying ourselves out here in South Central California. We got an RV just clearly abandoned. Not even tinted. Usually they have the windows blocked out so you can't see inside of them, but. Anyways, we are going to head back the way we came right now and start going on the route that I originally had planned. Bumper just chilling. Uh, and see what's going on that way. Absolutely paranoid of traffic today. That's the thing I'm most concerned about is the way that people drive down here is just straight up without a care. <laughs> if there's ever a place where, uh, you know, you have to ride the Suron defensively and just kind of be prepared for any type of chaos to happen at any second, it's out here. Out here, even more so than the area I frequent over there by, you know, closer to, to downtown LA, that area of Figueroa. Uh, there, it's kind of, it's a little bit more chill than here, actually. Even though this may look like straight up, you know, suburbs. Uh, it gets pretty wild out here. There is actually just a, uh, a fatal shooting over here on Vermont, which is this way. Uh, I think that was yesterday or two days ago. It was a wild video. Uh, obviously, I don't post any footage of the stuff I talk about, if you want to see it, you kind of have to do your own research. But I couldn't really tell what was going on in the footage. But uh, allegedly he was getting jumped or I don't know exactly what. Maybe it was, uh, I don't know. It's impossible to tell nowadays any type of context from uh, clips like that, but you can't really even see anything, but you hear pop, pop, pop. You know, someone was shooting something. Someone was something that was being shot. And then they said there was a fatality reported. From the footage, you can't really tell anything had happened, but uh, we're really close to that. So that gives you an idea of the uh, kind of the area we're in. Look at this, they have a mural. Anytime you see something like this, it usually means someone passed away on this corner. Hidden run is not an accident. Oh, that's just, that's just horrible. I miss you forever, my, my little wish. Tia Carla. Oh man, looks like someone got hit and ran by a car. Look, that helicopter's still looking, man. They're still looking for that guy. I promise you. You don't see helicopters going around in circles like that for no reason. They're hunting that guy down. Crazy. I can see how you can get hit and ran right here, too, because it's very blind. I can't even really see when it's a good time to cross. I can only kind of see one way. And with that, we're not even going to go across the street. We're going to go up here and make a left. I just don't want to be in this street at all. 
We gotta make our own rules out here, people. I don't know what else to say. We do got alleys though. That's what I'm mainly tempted of. I was checking out. Out here in the neighborhoods, 109th Street. Uh, not really where we're trying to be. He just blew that stop sign. I didn't give a damn. <laughs> we gotta get back on the other side of the freeway and check out Figueroa. That's kind of more of the route I was planning on taking today. So let's see what's going on with that. Can we take this alley? Yep. We got a few alleys we can take right here, actually. Anywhere I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. The alleys out here, cars may pull out and just hit me and keep going. <laughs> the odds of a hit and run, I mean, see, we just saw it straight up a, we just saw like a little memorial of a hit and run. Yeah, that's uh, it's on my list of concerns for the areas we're riding with, so to say. Ain't gonna stop us from cooking a little bit though. I'm gonna go through this next alley. He's riding with a little dog. A little doggy. How you doing? I don't know if I can get through right here. I think I can. A beautiful cat. That was a beautiful Russian gray. Alright. A little bit of random tagging right here. That's actually maybe the first tagging that I've noticed. Not that much tag going on out here. I believe we're on Vermont. Oh, that was Broadway. Okay. A little bit more tagging right there. This looks just like Vermont. We gotta go. Vermont's much further west than where we're at then. But this is just Broadway. And uh, we are gonna start going that way. We gotta get around the freeway though. I think we can go this way. Getting across these streets. It's gonna take some patience. So stay tuned. While we're waiting on the light, let's see how the uh, good old pop-up's going. I got this part down. Ooh. Yeah, I got those all day. Oh God. Tony folks, BMX pedals. Game changer. Cross this way. Yep. Kind of got to go out here. How you doing? Okay. Off we go. Banging this around around. This thing is. It's seen better days as of late. But it's still hanging in there. With a way to avoid getting hit out uh, here. One of the best ways is to take the turns real wide, come around the right end, and cut across to the left. If you're in the street, that is. I'm telling you, you kind of just got to make it up as you go when you're out here. Dirty underpass. Bunch of trash. Nothing out of the ordinary in LA though. Most normal LA site. All right, back to where we were kind of planning on doing today's ride. Wherever we're on Figueroa. Let's see where can we go from here. Plenty of ways actually. We're already six blocks from where we started, which is uh, a nice little route. But down here on Fig, you see, uh, you know, Fig is is it goes from top to bottom. It doesn't matter if you're at the top. Or the bottom, even though right now we're down here by the bottom. Uh, you still see big stuff. It's it is kind of interesting to me how it's just that it's, it's this street. There's not like a centralized location, but it's kind of like anywhere you go on fig, you're gonna see, you know, big things. <laughs> Doesn't matter how far south you are, once you hit that beginning of that stretch around like Vernon, I'd say that's where uh, things get interesting. Anyways. out here on some neighborhoods. This is 104th. So... Okay, that was a little weird. Kind of seemed like it was a move to get behind me. We're about to find out if that's the case. I'm going to make a right right here. Hard to say, though. Let's see. Are we getting tailed? Yeah, we are. We are getting tailed. Could be for another reason though. It could be because of uh, what's going on right here. Which is what I assume. Interesting. Even way down here, you get the, uh, you get, <laughs> you get that, you know? Yeah. You get to see the stuff that you see out here. Okay, well we saw that. That's, uh, I, I'm not gonna lie when I say that was unexpected. That's actually part of the reason I came so far south was to, uh, was to see if there's anything different out here to see but turns out we just kind of saw the same thing we see up there but down here <laughs> yeah well you know hey i'm just out here checking what's going on out man now well, we got to get across the street if that's possible it may or may not be possible we're just gonna do it by the book oh oh yikes 
Reason number 1,732, I do not like riding in the road most of the time. <laughs> you gotta, you know, you're at the mercy of all the other, at least when I'm, you know, in between both, I kind of have uh, a better, ooh, that's a nice Elko. We have, uh, we have a little bit more control over what's going on, I feel like. And we can swiftly cross between sidewalk and road. Okay, well, you know, taking the fig tour, look at what's going on back here. I would love to. What am I hearing? I don't know, that was kind of weird. This wall's all tagged up and they got some old school cars back there. Looks like a Monte Carlo maybe? Oh no, it's a Caprice. Don't roast me in the comments, it's a Caprice. Hey. Oh. I think he wanted to say something about the bike, but I don't know. Got another one of those, you know what to do. You guys gotta remember, I'm a one-man operation out here, so it's very imperative that I'm always on the move. I don't really have much opportunity to stop and chat with anybody or get myself put into a position where, you know, something else could happen or I could get approached. So this cop's sending it. Let's take a look. Oh, he's gunning it. Let's see what's going on. That's one crazy part about the Suron, is you can keep up. Oh, he's kind of stuck. Oh, he's sending it. Oh, it's right there. Oh, I think he might hit the freeway. Oh, no. Whatever's going on is right around here. We're, we're just going to go on this route for a second because why not? Why not? Went on to Surround in South Central. Why not? We'll see how far he's going, though. He could be going really far. You never know with stuff like that. Uh, also, we're doing a collab with one of my favorite channels real soon, LAOC TV. I would love to come down here and do like a crime cruise with him on Surrons. That's kind of like what he does. He drives around after dark and goes to breaking news around LA. Uh, I would love to do it on Surrons during the day, but I don't know how that would work out for him. But uh, we are going to do a video just riding around. I'm going to be taking him on a bike tour on these Surrons in uh, LA. That's going to be fun. Okay, he's, he's gone, bro. I think we are just gonna keep going though, because you know, why not? Look, helicopter's coming in hot, something's going down. Oh yeah, he's just starting his turn too. Whatever it is, it's, it's right in front of us. <laughs> it's literally right ahead of us. Why not, huh? I do, I think, I can't really see, but I think that cop made a right. Police just started doing uh, their circular, you know, that. So let's start playing it by ear right here on Avalon. Avalon Street, I know from living in Long Beach. All right, let's slow down. Oh, we got a lot going on right here. I see uh, fire department pulling up. There's a few cops up there in the road. The chopper is squarely positioned itself right here. Uh, I don't know what's going on right here. It looks like cops might have someone pulled over. Oh. Whole situation going on right here. Across the street, we don't want to get anything too graphic on camera. <coughs> Something happened inside this Andy's Donuts, is what it looks like the situation may be. Dude, there's so much going on at any given second out here, it's kind of like it's just. It is wild, man. Straight up lawlessness. That bird is already gone. Hey, brother, how you doing? Okay. I mean, there's not much of a... Usually, I don't think that was a shooting because it's, it's kind of something you might expect to happen out here, but people would have scattered if they heard shots. 
anyone out here knows what a shooting sounds like and they wouldn't just be chilling like this so who knows what happened i don't know but i don't even want to know if there's more paramedics than police officers that's usually not a good thing i mean it could be anything it could just be you know it couldn't have been a violent attack it could have just been someone got hurt over something but we're just gonna go ahead and keep going well that puts us dude we're so far we're far now <laughs> yeah we're really far we're gonna go ahead and make a right right here on 104th and try and make our way back out of here because <laughs> we really just zoom to keep up with that cop and it put us somewhere where we don't really want to be i wouldn't say we don't want to be but we just didn't plan on being here this is like another day of riding honestly so we go ahead and dip on up out of here so if you're wondering where we are we're just in like general south oh wow what's going on here we got a sick fight oh they got yeah they got <laughs> they got some motion going on there they got the deliveried up truck let's go ahead and hit this alley why not we're so far out the grid already one alley's not gonna hurt it's a little wild out here but Dude, dogs everywhere <laughs> you just hear them you hear them rustling before you see them okay dang folks we just this is this is crazy hey yo it's not even summer look at what this is clearly a takeover spot look at all the uh the tire marks going on right here that's a sick truck uh it's not even summer folks it's about to get so much wilder out here i will be around to cover as much of it as i can but you know that's gonna be in between me staying low as well can't be out here non-stop every day they'll figure out a pattern if you know you know you just can't we went kind of far we didn't go too far the freeway is not too far in front of us but uh, i kind of am inclined to check out some stuff over here sick to nerf man okay sorry oh, my bad he was not even chained up the holy mother of god Good thing he was more scared of me than I was of him. Oh my God. Crazy. I mean, that's like the most loose dog we run into today, surprisingly. That's a good thing. <laughs> that is a good thing. Trust me, folks, that is a good thing. Yeah, it is pretty active in these, uh, these neighborhoods, but, you know, we aren't really seeing much going on live. We've seen a couple of I mean, yeah, the craziest thing was that police pursuit that happened right as we got here. That was just out of this world. I often talked about before, anyone who watches a lot, that I used to date a girl who lived on like 90th in, uh, in Vermont. We're not too far from her house, um, like where, where she lives. And right there, I'd say is like very much an epicenter of danger in South LA. It's just, it was just so crazy out in that area, man. All right, that's the end of the alley system for now. I'm gonna go ahead and swerve around these buses. We gotta get across this street right here. We're on Main. These are all like downtown LA streets. So, it's very easy to keep track of where you are as long as you look at the north and south routes. I see more alleys, bro. It's so hard to say no to alleys even though this is like, this is probably the last neighborhood you should be alley surfing in. I mean, that goes without saying. I don't think anyone should do the things I do on video. I also wanna make it clear that you're free to. Oh, dude, that's a big cute dog. He's so big and fluffy. Uh, you're also you're free to, you know, no one's stopping you from getting out and doing what I do, just at your own risk, folks. Someone pointed out in the last video that I said, don't come here and do what I do. And they said, why? It's a free country. He's absolutely right. He is absolutely right. You're totally free to come out and do exactly what I do. Just know what you're getting yourself into because I do. <laughs> you know, I definitely do. Like this alley right here, geez. Just forgotten about. Oh. Wow. Wow. That was brutal. I'm gonna keep on going down a couple more. At least one more. <laughs> that is, I don't know about a couple more. Maybe just this one. It's starting to get a little crazier as we go on. All right, just maybe one more. Yeah, one more, and then we'll call it. Actually, let's look at this right here. Oh, this is why another reason why I love riding new areas, though. It's just so much to see. You know, out here getting around. That led us to miss that alley right there, but 
it's all right there's plenty we got to see today and uh man another day without incident huh just uh just barely hanging on today though today felt a little uh today felt like we were pushing the boundaries just a tad bit just a tad bit but we came out unscathed once again i'm killing i wouldn't mind that job Ugh. oh god big bash right there what's going on here Dude, I, these are the alleys where I feel like a dog is just chilling, waiting for me. But those are the sickest alleys too, so I don't even know, uh, you know, like, how do you call it? This is a big main street. This is the one we just tore down to get to uh, that, whatever that was that was going on down there. Look at this wall right here. That's sick. Hey, shout out to all my graffiti heads too, who, uh, who appreciate when I make those stops at the art. Uh, I do it for you guys. The ones who comment be like, yo, that was sick. You know, so uh, if you see some art you like, make sure you timestamp it and let us know. Or if you know an artist too. A lot of you guys know some of the artists that I pull up on, which is also cool. Uh, that's awesome. We're just kind of zipping along right now. We got, uh, we're very close to our start point. So we're just chilling, playing it by ear, checking out some of these kind of off the grid alleys that almost look abandoned in a sense. That is abandoned right there. <laughs> so, so, you know, some of this just looks, that's the only way I can put it, just abandoned, you know? Clearly I'm still working on the wheelies. They're a work in progress. I don't have that much time to work on them though. Pretty much all the time I'm riding this bike is when I get out and film. We've been extra busy with the giveaway and now that that one's done, we're wrapping up the last little bits of it and then we're gonna start the next one. Which I think a lot of you guys are going to enjoy too. Oh, we cleared that perfectly. That was a little sketchy, but we cleared it. Uh, this is a dead end. These RVs are sketchy. This is a part of the city where they just don't even care that you're here. They're just, they've probably been there for a cool minute. Anywho, dude, that jump felt so good. <laughs> I was actually, I was wondering, wait, what, is that a Model T? Chilling it. That's pretty sick, dude. Look at this. this is this a Model T just chilling? Yeah, it is. It's got the OG Ford badge. Maybe that's the OG one. Just straight chilling. That's awesome. <laughs> you have a good one. <laughs> you say you better not have that camera out too much longer around here. Yeah, he's right. That's one of my uh, that's one of my philosophies. Keep it moving. Y'all know that. Those kid on, kids on pocket bikes are straight shredding, that's awesome. All right, let's get back to uh, where we gotta go. Here, this traffic is stacking up. Oh God, <laughs> that's what I don't like. Coming around those uh, people that need to make a right. Kind of like old boy who was getting chased at the beginning. That's the same, same type of thing. I had to make a right ASAP and uh, yeah. Could turn bad, but it was all good. How I look at most things in life. Could have been bad, but it was all good. All right, back southbound on Fig. This is our, you know, this is the, the road that we conduct all of our travels on, so to speak. This is the way we go to lead ourselves back. Oh, maybe we'll hit like a little back route right here. Yeah, we are gonna hit a little back route. Ooh, look at that beamer. I like that color. That alley we could take here. That's, that would be great. Yep, let's do it. Ah. A little bit of tagging out here is nothing new. Let's see where we could go from here. I'm gonna take the side of the freeway. Got a little a free ride at tree stump. I would say no to these. We got some nice cars right here. Got a vet. MR2, Impreza. Dang, whose lineup is this? Another Impreza? There's a dog there. S2000. There's a dog just chilling. Oh, he needs a haircut. Sweet buddy. Don't come after me. Don't chase me. Just go back home. Oh, he's got a couple dogs. Dude, that line. What's up with those random cars? Those are sick. 
cool. Anywho, let's go ahead and make it out of here in one piece. That's the final, that's the final goal for today. <laughs> Look at this sidewalk. Oh, can we get over this? Oh man, a lot of sidewalks. I'm like, can I even ride through that without getting a flat? There'll be so much junk. The last thing I want to ride over is like a glass bottle that just blows up underneath me and sends shards up into my face. Uh, yeah, does that sound as bad as uh, I'm making it out to be? Because it probably would be. Needless to say, I don't want it to ever happen. So that's why I'm becoming more and more careful about riding through that bush, that shrubbery that we see. Is that a cop? I don't know. This will be our last alley tear for the day, folks. Ooh. That was a good one. Let's see, the system goes down a little ways. Got a Dyson? Dude, that's, is that a Dyson? Those are expensive. Wait, did we already come down this at the beginning? I don't even remember. This alley is kind of sketch though. Oh, these ones are super rugged. That's a sick truck. Oh. Okay. We're making it happen. A lot of trash out here. Everywhere you look, a little bit of trash. It's funny too because I mean I'm sure people try to clean it up and I'm, I bet it just comes right back. Okay, that's enough alley cruising for one day. I don't want to push our luck too far. I don't even know what is the limit of luck being pushed. But once I start feeling like it could be, that's when uh, I tend to call it. You know? Okay, we actually have to turn back around and go down the alley that we just came through. That's what we're going to do. Just hanging on through some of these. <laughs> Straight up hanging on. Big pile of trash. Not out of the ordinary sight. Out here is what I'm learning. Got the elote man, got the ice cream on deck. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay. And that's a wrap, folks. So that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. Get in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Subscribe if you're new as always. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Peace out.